Let's take a quick look at a diagram <clears throat> that has the nine circles interconnected with symbols in each circle. Now this is just a little flavoring tool, a little spicing tool, a little enhancing tool, a little affirmation tool. And it just adds a little flavor, a little boost, a little spice to other exercises that we will talk about later, other techniques, other tools. But we wish to simply familiarize you with it at the moment. It's just an idea that keys into certain aspects of your consciousness, your cultural and historical consciousness, keys into certain frequencies in your brain, that just allows you to augment, amplify, magnify, the other tools we will be discussing later. These symbols inside the circles are actually ancient Phoenician symbols on your planet. And this was chosen because they are of a time and place in your understanding of your history that most of you don't relate to anymore. And so these symbols, as fundamental vibrational symbols, can communicate with portions of your consciousness in a way that is less likely to be interfered with by your rational personality. And so it's like talking to a deeper portion of yourself. And all it is, all it is, all it is, <clears throat> starting in the center, is a reminder that that's where everything begins and that's what everything comes back to. Starting in the center, go up to the right upper corner, and as you go from the right upper corner down to the bottom, then across the bottom to the left, and then up the left side to the top, and then across to the right to the middle symbol, and then back down to the center again, you are actually receiving the sentence below the image. Read it to yourself. What it is, is a reminder to your inner self that everything starts in the center and issues therefrom. And in physical reality, you open your eyes and you use your hands and the sights and sounds and you absorb all these things. And then, through the symbol of water in the center at the bottom, you transform through emotion, through water, through flexibility. You transform. And as you transform, <clears throat> you create the path that leads to the windows and doors as you go up the left side, windows and doors, center one, top one, triangle is the door. Create the path that leads to the windows and doors to the unknown, which is the symbol with the X at the top. And going to the unknown leads back to the center of yourself. And that's the key to remember. <clears throat> to redefine the unknown, not as a fearful thing, but as that gateway which always leads back to the center of yourself, which always reveals to you, no matter what the experience you have of the unknown may be, it will always be an experience that will lead you to more understanding of more of yourself if you define it that way. So starting from the center, and as you use your eyes, your ears, your speech, <clears throat> your hands, all the things in your physical reality that guide you, with which you investigate things, all of that together can be transformed always through flexibility, fluidity, willingness, openness, always will be transformed into a path that leads to the windows and doors that reveal the unknown that always leads back to more of yourself at the center. <clears throat> so, just remembering this for now <clears throat> will aid and assist you a little bit later as we get into more detail about some of the techniques that we will describe and define for you that are connected to this idea of keying into your desire to define your dedication to detachment. 
And we will cover some of that a little bit later in this transmission.